Okay, hello everyone. Today for our Thoughts in Education series, we have Dr. Thomas George. He is founder and chairman at Lead College of Management located here at Palakka. He has more than 15 years of experience as an entrepreneur and international trainer, along with 10 years of experience in academy. Thank you for having us, sir. So let's begin with the interview. So what are the some of the key factors that keep you connected to the education sector? Education sector is the area where if we are able to connect, we can ensure the future of the students really good. So if we are able to guide the students through what it should be, then we can have a beautiful world, wonderful world. But if the education goes wrong, everything goes wrong. So what is your like philosophy on leadership and how would you describe your leadership style? For me, earlier, when we look at the definition of leadership, they said like a person who can lead and all such things. But later on it came that a good leader is a person who can create leaders, the second level leadership. Here at Lead College of Management, that is exactly what we do. We make the students do everything. It's a student-run college. Whether it be placement, admissions, uh, events, trainings, uh, OBT, we have outbound training, we have our canteen, everything is run by students. So. From the start till the end, they know everything, how to do things. Uh, if there is an event, like everything, you know, like even inside, outside, uh, competitions, everything is coming under an event. I mean, uh, under a, uh, we call it as LOT, Lead Operating Team. So those operating teams operate the entire process. So they do the planning, they do the execution, they do the evaluation, they do the improvements. Whereby the real leadership style which they have to execute when they are employed, they learn from here. Okay, sir. Besides this, like when you opened the college, what was your vision and like what are some of the plans you will be designing for students? Um, when we started the college, we named it as LEAD, L-E-A-D, which is Leadership and Entrepreneurship Academy in Dhoni. Dhoni is the place. But then in the leadership area, we are really able to make a mark. Our students, once they pass out, they put to any field, they are able to hold the leadership, they are able to work, hard work, smart work, everything is possible for them. Entrepreneurship, little area, which I'll talk a little later. Probably there's a question on mission, which I'll talk later. So being a management college, like practical approach is really important to things. So how do you bring in the practical approach and bring it or make it more industry oriented? Uh, actually, we come under a university and we are to follow the university syllabus. So university syllabus, we teach separate, but the practical part is different. It is like a lot of lot of value-added classes, internships, etc., which is not there in the university, we do. And practically, they will execute a lot of things. Uh, there are a lot of workshops which we conduct, um, SAP, Advanced Excel. There are so many, uh, like simulation or computers. There are a lot of things, news analysis, everything, whatever is expected by the, the industry, we are doing. Because the syllabus is an old syllabus. And uh, what is required by the industry is current. So the analysis, the decision making, everything to be developed, we will have to go with current only. So that is entirely different, separate itself. Uh, so according to you, what will be the priority of the college in the coming 10 years? Coming 10 years, okay, I said LEAD stands for Leadership and Entrepreneurship Academy though. Of which entrepreneurship is something which we are lacking. So, from last year onwards, we have started focusing on entrepreneurship. Last year, we took, we have a batch of students of around 21 who will be like, who have got real business ideas. They are in the field on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they are residential here and they the classes. And we give them, we handhold them, we mentor them. We've got good set of team to support them. A chartered accountants, cost accountants, businessmen, consultants, etc. And their business is being nurtured from the first year, first semester till the last. So by then, the business would have picked up. So it's like, there are many other colleges also who does entrepreneurship. But what they do is, they do the two years of classes. And after that, they go and start the business. But here, what we are doing is, along with the studies, the business is being built up. So that, you know, if you consider a tree also, uh, only if, if we are able to grow the tree to two years, then it will it is self-sustained. But most of the trees fell or fail when in the first two years. If you look at startups, 
it's almost one or two percentage which is being like you know which is becoming successful but if you are able to hold and hold these two years then it should pick up so that's an, that's the philosophy under which we are proceeding and hope it will be coming out good uh besides, besides this placements are something that students really look forward to so how does your college student prepare for placements and personally how do you ensure that all of the students in your college are placed yeah we have a placement guarantee so we commit that you know if like the starting salary when a student moves out from here the minimum basic is 4 lakhs definitely it is more than 5 lakhs now so that is guaranteed if not we say we commit that the entire tuition fee shall be refunded this is a big question whether it is possible it's a reality or it's a myth uh, last year itself i know there are 160 companies who have taken our students or who came for the interview the selection process so 160 companies whose salary is high and then we are able to place them in good numbers and the industry is what why they are interested in the students is these students are go getters give them any work they see that it is done and they are not bookish they are not theoretical they are practical anything which is not existing also give it to them they find out their search research out have their own ideas in it and then come out so this is why the companies want the students um, i do not I want to name but then there are good banks who have picked 36 numbers uh, good retail who have taken uh, 16 and uh, audit firms big four auditors taken you know in 10 etc so it is possible because the students are really good they are really performing so besides this student exposure is also really important part of the college life so i would like to know like what are some of the student exchange programs that are happening at your institution we are in good relationship with many other colleges today one of my team has gone to another ug college for conducting the management meet there so there are various places where our students go our faculty go faculty exchange program etc including some of our faculty members are regularly going uh, on, like uh, to iams for training and such things and we have the international uh, students also here except that past two years because of the covid they did not come we have admissions from more than 10 countries um, there is scholarship also for them and it is bringing out a good culture a uh, world international culture getting along with different people and the language the communication everything in that aspect it's really doing good we are tying up with more foreign universities when we conducted the faculty development program we had the speakers and people coming from different parts of the world and we are going to go to the next level in that again uh so besides this what would you say are your college's greatest strengths and how it can be further enhanced uh see there is a contradiction which i said earlier one is 100% placement and we want entrepreneurship also to come up so this year we are having like totally we have five batches the intake is 300 that is a quite a big number why this many numbers when the numbers are more industries are more interested in taking the students they are interested in coming because they get the students from there so right now the ratio of entrepreneurship is less ratio of placement is in the years to come maybe 5 years from now the entire uh, placement we will be killing a purposeful you know like uh, uh, conscious killing whereas entrepreneurship will move 100% so we are turning ourselves from b school which is business school to e school which is the entrepreneurship school that's what we are looking at so besides this we know you have plethora of experience So we would like to know what advice would you offer to students so they can have a prospective career ahead. Uh what I strongly have to recommend to the students is getting a certificate is different playing in the field is different. Probably you have a PG and PhD in swimming but if you do not know to swim then it makes no sense. In India thank god now the national education policy is coming they are expecting it to come in 30 years time. by then you know we would be somewhere else so uh, if the practical part the exposure part and what is that industry is required because whatever the academy is giving is what academy are they are not industries so if there can be a industry institute 
collaboration and knowing that and it will be really good even if the college is not providing that i'm sorry students can look out more on the day to day part of the industries so this was more or less what you wanted to know thank you for sharing your insights about lead college of management and thank you for giving us your time thank you so much god bless you